It's been a couple days since Steve was added to Smash Bros and his meta is already developing pretty darn fast just because of how versatile it is. Like, the, the further you can push something, the faster people tend to push it and they are pushing it very, very fast. Now, Steve has a lot of moves that are just kind of broken and have a lot of combo potential, a lot of just potential in general, edge guarding, all that stuff. Uh, when I think of them, I mainly think of his, his neutral B and then his jab. Now, his neutral B is, I can't even comprehend it right now, so I'm not even going to try to. But the jab, on the other hand, is still, there's a lot. It's like one of his main toolkits, like his main use, if not like his most used move. And I think... Uh, it's pretty important if you want to play Steve that you know how to use it. So this video is going to be teaching you how to use the sword in general. Also kind of putting the F smash in there. Just kind of a, a roundabout of how to use the sword. Maybe I'll do videos on the pickaxe and the axe and all that kind of all that kind of good stuff. But uh, let's just get right into it. Talking about the sword, its uses, and how to, how to be a good gamer with it. The first thing I want to talk about is the sword's use out of shield. Now, it's probably Steve's best option out of shield, as he does have a fairly slow tether grab. Like, for a tether grab, it's good, but just for a grab, it's not good to grab at a shield. And then, also his up smash, but if they are, like, pretty far away, the up smash hitbox isn't going to scoop, so you're going to want to use his jab. Now, his jab, or the sword, rather, you can use it forward and also backwards, which is very weird. So, when you have the sword out, like, specifically, or you're in shield, he will use the sword move from behind. And that combos into back air. Like, that is a true combo, which is very, very good. Because if people hit you behind your shield, you have, like, a 325% combo. I don't actually know the exact damage, but it is insane. And then when people, like, are in front of you, like I'm showing right now, you get jab into forward air, which is, like, a 20% combo. And if it's if you hit the right angle off stage, it can spike. So you can spike people out of shield. The only other characters in the game that can do that are, like, Mario, maybe? Like, and even that, it's not, that's a fairly, like, you have to be fairly precise for that combo. Like, it is broken insane. And then also, like, right there, that killed Donkey Kong. I know the DI wasn't amazing, but still, it killed at percents where it would still work later. Like, out-of-shield options for Steve are very good with, uh, with the sword. You can uh, kill people off of the out-of-shield options. If you parry, you can kill them off that. Like, using it out-of-shield would be very important, very good, and it's just a fast option, so... When you get hit with the shield, you're going to want to use the sword typically. It's very good. Combos into forward air with the front hit and the back hit combos into back air. Now, this is just comboing with the sword in general. As you can see, it combos into itself for like 30%. That's really good. That's very good. It also combos into forward air. And also the spike hitbox. It's kind of hard to hit if you like don't know the precise timing. But as the meta evolves, you'll, you'll get used to hitting that perfect placement. You'll get... Get more precise with it. You'll know. You'll know the percentages where it works best, and you're just gonna get more used to it. But for now, like a little tip for just trying to hit it is when the pickaxe is like on its lowest down is when you want to hit it, not when it's like the top swing. Like the top half isn't going to spike, but somewhere in the bottom half it starts spiking. Like right there, it didn't spike, but if uh, if you hit him on a certain angle down below, it's going to spike, which then you can lead into edge guards, block conversions, maybe just another forward air, which is uh you know kind of broken off of a jab. A very fast jab that you can do out of shield. So you can out of shield jab someone and then, you know, kill them with a spike. It also, like you saw right there, combos into forward smash. That's a true combo. That wasn't just the the, the, the level 1 computer that I'm using wasn't getting ready for. It wasn't spot dodging or air dodging, rather. That was a true combo. Now, obviously, DI is going to affect the combo. But in general, if you're catching them off guard, you can be killing them at very early percents. I think I show it a bit later, I'll, I'll say. Mention it when I do. But yeah, see that combo right there? That was fairly true. It wasn't obviously true, all of it. But then even when the sword broke, you don't even need the sword to still combo. You can, you can combo without the sword, which is insane. Like, obviously, the sword does more damage and has more range, so you're going to want to like use it. You're not going to be wanting to go fist mode. But yeah, right there, that's... That uh, you carried him across the stage. Obviously, he could have gotten out, but at the ledge there, you hit him with the um, uh, jab, neutral air, forward air, and it killed at like eighty. That's super good. And also, down throw into forward smash combos at zero. Uh, higher percent, it doesn't combo just because you can di out. But at zero, I'm pretty sure it's very difficult to di. Like you have to get the right di. You have to be ready for it. And if they down throw immediately, you're just not gonna have it. Or if you're like a very small character, obviously it'll be easier. 
Like I use Donkey Kong for these videos just because he is big, so you can show the max potential. This isn't going to work on all characters always, but still, as a general rule, this is going to work. Yeah, uh, jab forward smash, jab forward air. Both those things are true, and both of them kill. So you have two kill conversions off jab. Like when you're on the ledge, typically you're going to want to be using forward air, I think, just because it sends them down. That's a lot scarier, and it's uh, more guaranteed. Whereas forward smash really isn't guaranteed, but if you catch them sleeping with the DI, it is. Yeah, it, the sword breaks, and it really doesn't matter. And also, like, whatever kind of tools you're using, these combos, like, they go through all tools. It's not like wood and stone don't have these combos, or diamond doesn't because it's too strong. They all have these combos, and they're all going to be able to do these things. And so you don't really have to worry about that. Like, obviously, the percents for diamond specifically, I think, is the biggest concern, are going to be a lot, uh, like, tighter because of how far the knockback is, but that's honestly fine. You can kill with the sword, like with the neutral air, but I wouldn't really focus on it because, like, it's a fast, it's a fast option. So I think when you're edge guarding with it, you're gonna want to be like you place a block and then you you can swing three times before like and then you can go back just fine. So like so characters that are like to have susceptible recoveries like Karam, like Little Mac, like Ganondorf, those characters that recover just kind of don't like lead them like it's just kind of straight up not not going very far. You're gonna want to use it there. Because it's just such a get out of real. There's no like real punishing that. It just you swing, you miss, it's whatever, and it could could potentially kill them, which is very good. It also yeah, uh, jab combos into down smash, but there's no real reason to do that when you could just forward smash, which just does more damage ultimately. But if hey, if you want to mix them up, I'm pretty sure it also combos into down tilt, which is uh yeah, it's pretty good. You can mix it up a bit, keep it keep them on their toes. You don't really know what they're gonna do. But, uh, yeah, that's kind of really all I have for the jab, I'm pretty sure. Uh, it's like, yeah, you, you can spam it like this. It's pretty hard. The sword also, like, uh, the weapons break, but they only do damage when you hit someone. So if you can just swing that all you want, and if it's not hitting the shield, it's not hitting them, it's not going to do any damage. So there's no drawbacks to just having it out swinging, because you can cancel it immediately. Obviously, don't be spamming it on their shield, because they can, like, predictably parry it or just, like, shield grab you. So be careful with how you're swinging it, but if they're at a range, you kind of want to keep them away, place a block, swing that thing, you're going to scare them away, give you some time to mine, which is always nice. And just, it's a very spammable, very combo-heavy tool, which is insane. Now I'm going to talk about the forward smash for a little bit, and then that should be the summary. Now the sword is going to be one of Steve's best kill moves, because it is his, it is his best kill move. But obviously you're not going to be hitting it always. His aerials are pretty strong, his back air hits like a truck. But when you can combo into a character's best kill move, that's when it gets dangerous. Because this, this thing right here, that's a true combo. That's, what is that? That's not good, and it's off of a jab. A very, I don't know how fast his jab is, but it seems insanely fast. Like, I think it had it no way it's above like frame six. And that's like, I just, I'm, I'm lowballing it or highballing it rather just because I'd, I'd rather be uh, wrong by like, uh, because I'm overrating it than like saying it's insane. And then people are like, well, actually, it's not like, it's not as good as he says. And then people think it's not as good because I'm overrating it because you should be scared of this move. When you see him throw it out, it is very, very good. Probably one of the best jabs in the game, up there with like Inklings with uh, Croy, Rom and Rom and Croy. Yeah, I sorry, it's it's late, but uh, yeah, this character insanely good. Just off that one move alone, I look at them and I go, "That's a top tier." How could how could you not honestly? So you're gonna be wanting back on the sword though. You're gonna be wanting to like use it at a combo. If you read a roll, use it. If you break a shield, use it. Obviously, if you can get a punish with it, swing it out there. Once in a while, it's not not the laggiest F smash, not the safest either. But it's not. It's pretty dang good. You can also combo F smash out of down throw. I think I mentioned that earlier. But it has to be at fairly low percents. Like right there, it didn't work. So yeah, you got to be careful of that because then you're just you're missing free combos because you can also get down throw into just jab or into forward air and then that's just percent that you'd be missing out on just because you got greedy and that's that's never good so yeah you can also go off stage place a block and then forward smash and then the block will break and you have no leg you can also just do that on stage with like down smash as well like down smash is probably the better option for that just because i'm pretty sure down smash also breaks the block so there's actually zero leg but uh yeah if you time it right block sword no leg and that is just broken so block forward smash no leg Whew, i say it three times and it sounds better every time anyway i think that's really 
All I have to say about the jab, use it as a combo move, use the forward smash as not only a combo ender, but as an insane kill move that kills very early. Steve's jab is probably his second best move after just neutral B, just the potential neutral B he has, I think is too good. But as just a default move, Steve's jab is insane. The sword is very, very good. Use it wisely. You don't even have to use it super wisely for it to be good. You can just spam it and get 30%, and there's nothing they can do about it if you just hold forward. Anyway, that's really all I have to say about it. Good move. Play Steve. He's really fun. Uh, please subscribe. That would be much appreciated. The last video is getting tons of support, like probably the most any video I've ever uploaded has, and that's super cool. Thank you guys for that. And uh, that's all. Have a nice evening, day, night, whatever time zone you're in. Just make sure it's a, it's a good old day. Uh, that's all. Bye-bye. Uh,